Staying with Flames football and their matchup with App State, we welcome in now Nick Pierce for his weekly visit and look ahead to the Flames' next opponent. Nick, thanks so much for showing up today. Hey, thanks a lot for having me, Matt. Well, let's talk a little bit about this offense for App State. They're ranked 91st in the nation as far as the FBS rankings are concerned, yet they have a young dual-threat quarterback that can cause some problems. Yeah, no doubt about it. They run a spread offense down there in Boone, and young Taylor Lamb has taken the reins after uh, week two when second-year head coach Scott Satterfield inserted him as the starter. Lamb has been dynamic, a dual-threat guy, as you mentioned, took over the starting reins against Southern Miss, came off the bench against Michigan and Campbell, and uh, really impressed his head coach, averaging 211 yards per game, but he's been a little bit turnover-prone. Four interceptions against five touchdowns in five games this year does have a couple of pretty good receivers to throw to. A couple of experienced guys in uh, Sims McElfresh and number seven, Malachi Jones. Both those guys juniors. Jones, he caught only four passes but racked up a season high 64 yards in that 47-21 loss to South Alabama uh, last week. The run game, though, has underperformed for them. Running back number 14, Marcus Cox, coming off a sensational freshman season where he set App State freshman records in yards, more than 1,200 on the ground, also 15 touchdowns. Touchdowns. He scuffled a little bit this year, averaging just 67 yards per game and five touchdowns. So they're going to try to get him going. Also, aside from that 66 nothing blowout win over Campbell, App State's offense averaging just 17 points per game in its four losses. Well, Nick, the offense only averaging 17 per game, and they're not that strong on defense either. Gave up 47 at home last week, something you don't want to do in front of the home crowd. They've also struggled to stop the run. They're giving up more than 220 yards per game on the ground. Who are some of their players to watch on the defensive side of the ball? Yeah, and Clement, they also gave up more than 580 yards of offense, the most that they'd allowed in more than two years. But they do have a couple of playmakers over there. It's an odd front for App State, 3-3 look, uh, a little bit different than what the Flames have seen in some of these other odd fronts this year. But a guy you want to going to want to keep an eye on is number six, Keenan Gilchrist, uh, the linebacker who's around the line of scrimmage quite a bit. He can be a disruptive force. Sophomore, he's played in 17 games in his career, but he's already amassed 82 career tackles and six of them for a loss. But what he really does well is he frees up a guy like number 49, the defensive end, Ronald Blair. Blair has 13 tackles and two sacks in five games this year, but in his career, 26 and a half tackles for a loss, nine and a half sacks. So he can be a guy that can get into the backfield. But again, to this App State defense, they're going to have to play better. They allow 339 passing yards against South Alabama. The passing game has been a strength at times this year for the Flames, especially Darren Peterson coming off that 100-yard-plus performance and three touchdowns last week against Richmond. No doubt about it. Liberty just 2-7 and seven all time against App State. The Mountaineers have won five straight in this series. Flames hoping to change that this Saturday. Nick, thanks so much for joining us. Have some fun down in Boone, all right? <laughs> Will do, Matt. <laughs>